I find it really ironic that BP is sponsoring an exhibition called Sunken Cities, given that they are one of the main responsible parties behind the series of tragedies that will come in future years and that will result in the disappearance of some of the most important cities in the world. It is 2016. Five of the Solomon Islands have been lost to the rising ocean. The oil burns, the ocean rises. The oil burns, the ocean rises. Alexandria 2040. Alexandria 2040. Today we are remembering political prisoners and friends jailed in Egypt. The British Museum's flagship exhibition, Sunken Cities, is helping the Egyptian regime and BP cover up human rights and environmental abuses. 2055, Lagos. They called it the West African Gas Pipelines, a gift from the carnivorous big oil lines that increase the heat, the hunger and anger lines. Now we eat in heat of gas flares and our lifelines hang in abandoned canoes of regrets. People from at-risk cities around the world contributed these words for us to create this performance. Blue sky, white clouds and clean air. We want to have these public transportation instead of by using or driving your own cars because they know this can reduce the amount of fossil fuels they use. And of course, step by step, the Shenzhen people are fighting to protect from sea level rise. The concrete jungle, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps, Bob Dylan, Andy Warhol, New York. Way down water, way down New York, a city of heroes, weirdos, free. They say that the best way of hiding a coin is to put it in a bag full of coins. Something like this is what's happening with BP in Argentina. Despite holding the majority of shares of the second most important fossil fuel company in the country, they remain unknown, unlike Chevron or Shell. What do you love about London that you don't want to lose? Rent rises, heat rises, sea rises. 